Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video tutorial number seven in the backing track maker series. In this video we are going to turn our MIDI recording into an mp3 file. So let's get started. So as usual we have our talking points up on the screen right over here and you can see the steps that we um, we have there and we're going to go through each one of them. So step number one is to make an audio recording from the MIDI, uh, from the MIDI recording. So in order to do that we are going to go over to the keyboard, we're going to go into song mode and we are going to select over here the MIDI song, song area number uh, song area B we are going to select our MIDI song file and the one that we want is the song file that has the MIDI lyrics in it so it's this one here and we will select that and bring up the um, song mode once again and then all we have to do now that we've selected that, we, uh, we will go into our menu once again. Menu number two, we'll go to song recording. And now we are going to do audio quick recording. So we'll get that set up. We'll select audio quick recording. And you can see now that the keyboard is set up to record um, whatever audio you are going to put into it. And the audio that we are going to put into it is going to come from our MIDI song file. So we go over to our song file player, the song file player, and we press play. And what that's going to do is when we press the player uh, we will start recording an audio file so really that's all you have to do play the file back sit back and relax and wait till the audio recording is finished so the full step will be is we'll play uh, it, you'll see in the screen there it says touch play pause to start recording so if I do that right now it's ready to go. You'll see the timer counting up. I will go back to the player and press the play button. And you can see that we are getting information coming into the file. And um, we let that play all the way through and you will have on your keyboard, you will have an audio recording of the, uh, of the MIDI recording, if you know what I mean. So we're going to stop that now because I've already done the audio recording and then we'll move on to the other steps. So I'm going to stop this recording right here. Just assume that we've completed the function of making the total recording. So we can stop all of that and we can go back to the home screen. So our audio recording is done. Now we have a um, WAV file on the uh, keyboard and we're going to take that file and copy it over to the computer. Now I've already done that for us so what we're going to do now is um, bring that file up onto the screen. We'll go into our file menu here and we are going to, I just want to show you where that file is. It'll be in our music songs and I love her now see that's there is the audio file that we've recorded and I've called it and I love her with no lyrics so the objective is to take that file make it into an mp3 file and then add the lyrics into it so let's do that so if we come over here to BTM you will see that we have a button here called convert wave to mp3 file so I'm going to click that it's 
it's going to ask me what file do you want to convert I will pick the file and I love her with no lyrics dot wave which we recorded at the keyboard and brought over to the computer click open and now we'll just wait a little bit until it says and you'll notice the screen at the bottom of BTM here it says mp3 conversion completed and it gives us the file name so that's how easy it was to convert our WAV file that we made on the keyboard into an mp3 file next step we are going to export the lyrics from BTM into a format that we can put into the mp3 file so let's do that I'll click the button and it takes no time at all we will um, give it a name and in this case we creating what's called an LRC file or a lyric file I just give it a different uh, uh, ending so that we know that this file has got mp3 lyrics in it not MIDI lyrics so I've already done this before so I can just pick the name here and click on save and yes it is done we do want to replace that now let's go and have a look at that file so we'll go back in there and it's this file over here so I'll click on that and you can see now instead of having measures and beats and ticks we've now got seconds two seconds 17 seconds 22 seconds and so on because of course with audio files um, we work with time not with measures and beats as we do with MIDI files so that's what our file looks like and we're going to take that file and import that information right into the mp3 file so I'm going to click close there and close that so we've done the export so now all we need to do is do the import of the MIDI lyrics so this is a couple of steps needed so let's click on that it'll give us instructions and says open the mp3 file with no lyrics okay let's do that there you see the name and I name the file and I love her with no lyrics dot mp3 we'll select that file now it asks us to open the exported mp3 lyrics file click OK and we just created that file before so I'll select that file I'll click open and it tells us at the bottom of the BTM screen here that we have um, we've entered basic tags and synchronized lyrics into the mp3 file so now we have a complete mp3 file with lyrics so let us go and have a look at that file and to do that what we're going to do is I'm going to show you here in this program called KID3 which we discussed very early on it's a program that lets you enter these uh, tags and lyrics and other things album covers and all that sort of uh, stuff into an mp3 file so we're going to have a look at our mp3 file with KD, KID3 so we can see what we added in there so I'm going to open that okay now we're going to select the file currently it's showing another file that I was working on some time ago so we'll go and click the button to select the file that we want so we want to go to our music folder all my songs let's go to and I love her and here's the file that we just created and I love her no lyrics dot mp3 which was derived from the no lyrics dot wav file if you're following what I'm doing that is our mp3 file let's open that so now we can have a look at what's in there what we've done is we've given we've entered the name of the file into the uh, mp3 file we've the we've uh, put the artist name in there the year and we've also put all the lyrics in there so let's go and have a look at that 
if I go and say edit those lyrics, you will see what we looked at in the lyrics file is all inside the mp3 file right now, all the way to the bottom. So we are very happy with that. So we can click OK and get out of this program, close it down. It says uh, the current folder has been modified. Do you want to save it? Well, we didn't really do any modifications, but we did go into edit mode for a second. Uh, so we'll just cancel. We don't want to actually modify anything. But there you have it. We now have an MP3 file with lyrics. So what we can do is we can now take that MP3 file with lyrics over to our keyboard and we can use that to make our completed to complete our song I should say. So play that back and simply sing over it so that we can create our full track and record that as well um, with our, our vocals in. And that is what we are going to do in the next video. We are going to make a song. And then we're going to take that song and uh, with the vocals in it. And we're going to make a video out of that song. So that's what's coming up in the next video or two. We shall see. So all that remains is to say thank you very much for watching this video. And come back for more because there most certainly will be more. Thanks again.